Okay, so um, I wanted to do a quick video review on this um, Andoa, I think that's how you say it, um, three-way tripod head um, that I just got off Amazon for uh, 20 quid, roughly. Um, I wanted to do a video because my first impressions uh, are not great. Um, I wanted to video it in case anything actually breaks as I'm checking this out. So uh, the first thing that I noticed is that um, this top section has a lot of slop in it. And looking closely, I'm not sure if there's something actually misaligned here or misfitting, um, but there's a section sticking out. Um, and I noticed when I undid this, um, it didn't take much for this to actually start sliding out. Yeah, there we go. Like that was literally two turns and that just started to pop out. Um, and it, uh, and it's quite difficult to get it to screw back in. Like obviously the thread has come out inside there. So yeah, getting that back in. Yeah, there we go. It's back in, but yeah, kind of worrying. Uh, and I don't know if you can hear it, but there's uh, some squidging going on in there. Um, Second thing I noticed is that um, this so-called quick release is not uh, not very quick. In fact, it's it's really stiff. Um, so that is opened up all the way that um, that thread, and you might not be able to see, but um, this actually hasn't shifted out. Like there's springs in here, but it's still still clamped shut pretty tight, and you have to give it some muscle for it to actually release. And that's just because this, this grip here is really stiff. Like it's it's a very firm, tight fit in here. Like there is barely any clearance. Um, so yeah, that's that, not great. Um, this thing seems fine. Like otherwise, it fits fine. Um, the tilt arm, totally fine, um, nice and smooth, a little bit of play in the handle, but tightens down nicely. Um, the pan, pan seems fine. Um, so yeah, so far my only complaints are these bits. Um, so I'm going to see if I can get this out and just try and get it to fit a little better. So it's come out that far, but it doesn't seem to want to come out any further. Yeah, so I got it back in, but it doesn't really seem much better. Um, also, the um, spirit levels are missed, seem to be missing. Um, on the on the picture on Amazon, it had two, um, like one on on the top here, and then I think another one up here, so that you could level it up in either like horizontal or vertical mode. And yeah, they're not there. So uh, I was just trying to attach the plate to my camera. And I found a couple more issues. Um, one is the, the the screw thread is is really tight fitting in here. Um, so like sliding and, and turning it is just kind of awkward. Um, like it's fine in here, obviously, because this bit's a little bit wider to allow it to unscrew. Um, but a more serious issue is that this this thread is too long for my camera. Um, so I've just got a, a Canon EOS 600D. Um, I screw this in. Uh, the screw bottoms out. <laughs> so that that's as tight as it'll go. 
Like I can even even give it a little tighten. Like that is literally as far as it will go in, and it's not tight. Um, so yeah, that sucks. So I have the the tripod head set up on my um, my tripods, and it seems to be fine. It it, it attaches on, okay. Um, so that at least seems to be fine. Something else worth noting with this is um, one of the reasons why I bought this is because you get these um, little angle indicators on the the tilt and on the pan, but there is no indicator to actually line anything up with. You know, normally you would have a little white line so that when you when you pan this round, you can align it up to to one of these numbers. Uh, but neither neither the pan section or the tilt section has has a notch or a line of any kind. So, uh, like without adding my own indicator in there, that's pretty much useless. So yeah, that's the review. I hope somebody out there found this useful. Um, I'm going to try and send this back to Amazon and hopefully get a refund. Cheers.